What's up guys? It's Kelly and today I've got another Swatcher review for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos and let's get started. So today I am partnering up with Picture Polish to share with you guys their brand new nail polishes. We've got seven new colors to go over today and honestly they are so incredible. I am absolutely in love with them. They are something that I have been wanting from Picture Polish for so long. If you guys haven't heard of Picture Polish before, they are an independent nail polish brand based in Australia. They are 10 free, meaning they are free of 10 of the dangerous chemicals that are often found in nail polish. They are vegan, they are cruelty free, they are breathable, and they're also plant-based sustainable nail polishes. I believe they're still in the process of going through all of their previous polishes and making them into the new sustainable plant-based formula, but all of the new shades that I am going over today are part of that new formula, so I really love that. I absolutely love their sustainable formula. Honestly, I, I would argue that it is slightly better quality than it used to be, so I'm just absolutely impressed with that. And they also actually improved their nail polish brush, so it actually now has that rounded tip. It's still a wide flat brush, but it has a rounded tip, which makes it so easy to get around that cuticle area. So honestly, I didn't have to do pretty much any cleanup for this video, which is pretty surprising because I always have to do that for swatch and review videos. But anyway, let's just jump right into it and roll the footage. As usual, just using base coat underneath all of my swatches to protect my natural nails and prevent any stains, today I am using the Orly Bonder base coat. So we'll start off with the shade Curious, which is a really beautiful soft sage green that has a super subtle scattered hollow fleck and shimmer running throughout. You can see all Already, the coverage was extremely good on the first coat, honestly almost a one coater. One thing I love about the Picture Polish formula is just how smooth and self-leveling it is, and you can just instantly see how good and easy it is to work around. It's a very beginner-friendly brand, but it also has that sort of boutique feel to it, so absolutely love that. This color is really soft and pretty. I love that subtle holographic sparkle, and I just love everything about it. Next up we have the shade Maze, and you will very quickly see what it is about this collection that got me so excited and that is that a bunch of these have the little scattered black hex glitters running throughout which I have loved for so long and I've always wanted more colors of them and picture polish has delivered. This one is like a really nice again slightly dusty kind of slate blue shade that has those little micro glitters running throughout as well as again that subtle holographic fleck running throughout the subtle holographic sparkle and it's just a perfect two coater. It looks absolutely gorgeous on. I just, I love that speckled look. Next up we have another one of these black speckled polishes. This one, I would have pronounced it Lilas, but I did Google it and the pronunciation told me that this is a French word that is pronounced Lila, so I'm not 100% sure on that. Again, you guys know I'm terrible at pronouncing things. I am super sorry about that, but regardless, this color is absolutely gorgeous. You know that I absolutely adore purple nail polishes, especially cool toned ones like this. This is like a light lavender cool toned polish again with those black hex glitters running throughout it's just such a cool effect I love it added with that subtle holographic sparkle and it's just a really gorgeous color it's like a nice springy shade but it's got a little bit extra going on in there next up we have the shade jazz and this is a really bold, beautiful raspberry kind of color that has a scattered holographic shimmer running throughout. And this one was a one coater on me. Just absolutely incredible formula. Again, incredible coverage. Just looked so nice on the nails. I ended up doing a second coat just to show you guys what that looked like. And again, you can just see that holographic sparkle coming through, especially in the area near my cuticles where it's slightly out of focus. Just a really beautiful, bold color. It feels so bright and summery, but honestly, Honestly, this is a shade that you could really wear any time of year. It's just a classic. And also, have you guys noticed how incredible this new brush is? I feel like absolutely no cleanup is required. It's incredible. Next up, we have the shade Hibiscus, which is a really beautiful salmon, peachy, orange kind of color. Again, that has that subtle holographic sparkle running throughout, as well as the black micro glitters. And again, just incredible coverage. This was another one that was one coat on me. Of course, I ended up adding a second coat just to show you guys 
what that looked like, but yeah, just an absolutely incredible formula. I really can't say enough good things about the picture polish formula, especially now. I don't know if it's just in my head, but I have a feeling that like now that it's more sustainable of a nail polish formula, it's just even easier to work with. I assumed that doing something like that would make a formula more tricky, but it just applies so smoothly and perfectly every single time. Next up, we have the shade Dijon, which is a really beautiful mustard yellow color that has the black hex glitters as well as the subtle holographic sparkle. And oh man, I just feel like picture polish must have been reading my mind recently and just wanted to make all of the polishes that I have been craving in this finish. I love shades like this. I love mustard yellows. I love when colors kind of veer on like the ugly, pretty side of life. And this is just the perfect representation of that. Absolutely gorgeous in two coats. I love that mustardy vibe. It's perfect. And last but definitely not least, we have this beautiful shade. It's actually not named, but it is an homage to all of the picture polish cats. We've got Lily, we've got Alice, and we've got Harry. They're all just really beautifully represented in this soft beigey base color that also has the black matte hex glitters running throughout as well as the subtle holographic sparkles. And again, it's just a really beautiful two coater. It has an almost crelly vibe to it. So you can see some of that previous layer of black coming through and it adds just a really nice dimension to the polish. Just absolutely gorgeous. I totally love it. It's like a perfect soft neutral shade that has something extra peppered into it. So here are all of the polishes together. And I have to say, I am such a person who loves seeing full collections that match each other perfectly. And I feel like we just have the most gorgeous rainbow of colors here. I absolutely love the vibe of it. I love those black hex glitters. I think they add so much to the polish. I love every single one of these. Honestly, I don't even think I could pick a favorite, although potentially the lavender one, just because I have a little bit of a purple obsession, but seriously in love with every single one of these. So yeah, those are the polishes. And like I said, I am just so in love with all of these. I have been obsessing over the picture polish shades that have the black hex glitters in them. I just, there's something about them that I absolutely adore. And to have a collection of five new ones and then the two really nice holographic shades as well, it just really made my heart sing. So I absolutely love them. The formulas are completely unreal. They're just so good, so easy to work with. Basically, a lot of one coders, just a really impressive formula. I absolutely love that it's plant-based. I feel like every brand should get behind this. I'm very into it. So yeah, another great collection from Picture Polish. Honestly, I pretty much love every collection that they come out with, but they have really been killing it lately. I feel like every new shade that I am trying from them, I love even more than the last. So yeah, absolutely huge win for me. Totally love these shades. I will link the picture polish shop in the description below so you guys can check it out. They also have a bunch of international stockists, so I will put that in the description as well so you can check that out if you are interested. But yeah, I would love to hear from you guys. What do you think of these polishes? Which one's your favorite? What do you think of the black hex glitters? Because I I am absolutely obsessed with them. I love them so much. So I want to hear what you guys think of them. Let me know in the comments. If you enjoy my swatch review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. Huge shout out to my cosmic admirals on Patreon, Amanda M, Braxton Scott, and Rainbow J. I really appreciate your support and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Braxton Scott and Braxton wants to know, how do you plan out your video schedule without knowing releases in advance? Do you just have placeholders like Monday I'll do a nail review and then review what collection comes in or is it less planned? That is actually a great question and honestly I'm not even 100% sure of the answer to myself. <laughs> so I will say generally I try to keep very updated on releases. Obviously I follow a ton of nail polish brands like on Instagram and other social medias so I'm always keeping an eye out for when things come out, but I am also fortunate enough to get a lot of stuff in PR. So a lot of brands do actually send me stuff ahead of the release so that I have time to actually film a review for them. So a lot of times I know what's coming. If I don't know what's coming, I usually just keep a few empty spaces in my calendar, but I don't, I don't actually plan that far ahead when I'm filming content. So yeah, I mean, sometimes I'll be very ahead of schedule if there's something coming like that I know of way ahead of time, like for example, a collab or something like that. 
that, then I obviously have that as a placeholder in my calendar and I know when that's coming. But for other stuff, yeah, I mean, it really just depends on what's being released. If I'm getting it ahead of time for review or if it's something that I'm finding out about after, then I'll just fit it somewhere into my schedule. So yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.